Well, some time ago, we were dissecting the organs of a pig in school. And here you see me how I blow some okay. air into the lungs of a pig. I've uh, connected a tube, a rubber hose um, into the lungs here. And of course, my students loved it. And I also had a very good time doing that. I had uh, some quite a bit of fun here. But today I want to put the lungs under the microscope and I want to compare healthy lungs with those lungs of a person who smoked. And yeah, there are some visible differences. So hi, hello and welcome. Mike microbe hunter here today no microbes under the microscope but rather the cells of a lung i'm oliver and in this youtube channel i'd like to explore the world with my microscope and yes uh, today i'd like to compare um, a healthy lung with uh, the lungs of a person who actually smoked and who was suffering from copd which is a disease now at the end of the video i'll be returning to the dissection of the lungs um, of the pig and uh, i want to also give you a little bit of the background story of why we actually got the organs there but for now let's do a little bit of microscopy first um, I will show you first how healthy lungs look like under the microscope and then a picture of what happens of, to a person who is suffering from COPD, um, which is a disease that you might actually get uh, from smoking. So this here is the microscope slide uh, that we'll be looking at. Uh, it contains a thin a cross section of a healthy lung. Now, I did not make the slide. It is a commercially prepared uh, microscope slide. So it's been properly stained. It's been properly microtomed, which basically means sliced into very thin sections so that you're able to see all the structures very well. Now, when you put the microscope slide under the microscope, then we can see that the lung, lung looks very much like a sponge. Okay, there are a lot of empty white spaces that you see there. And those white areas are surrounded by a wall which contains a lot of blood vessels. And those spaces are the so-called alveoli. Now, the alveoli are tiny ear sacs in the lungs, and the human lung approximately has about 2 million of them. That's, that's a huge number. Um, and the lungs have the consistency, therefore, of a sponge, and they're not hollow. Some people think that they're kind of empty bags. That's, of course, not the case. Um, uh, but there are numerous blood vessels uh, in the lungs that uh, surround uh, those little tiny ear sacs. Now, this here is a plastic model of the lungs, and it shows quite well that the lungs are not hollow, but that it contains also countless blood capillaries. Now, these are microscopic blood vessels and the blood picks up oxygen from the alveoli, from those air sacs, and it carries the oxygen to the cells of the body. And at the same time, carbon dioxide, which is a waste gas, is given off from the blood into the air of the alveoli. And this process of oxygen entering the blood and carbon dioxide going from the blood into the alveoli, this uh, is called gas exchange. And this is really important for, of course, for keeping us alive. Now, the cells of the body, of course, they need oxygen to release energy and the carbon dioxide. That is the waste gas that our cells produce. And this waste gas is then dumped in, into the air sacs. The total area of all of the alveoli in a person's lung is actually quite large. It's approximately 100 square meters, which is around over a thousand square feet. Now, that's about the size of a small apartment. Well, actually a rather decent sized apartment because the lungs, they need this large surface area for gas exchange to take place uh, efficiently. So now let's have a look um, at uh, a picture of a person's lung who is suffering from the disease called COPD. That's a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It's a pretty uh, a mouthful here. It's a progressive disease. Uh, this means that uh, it slowly becomes worse um, over time. Now, people who suffer from COPD, they have uh, enlarged air spaces. So the cigarette smoke destroys the walls of the alveoli. In other words, the alveoli become larger. So if you have uh, two smaller alveoli here, each one of my hands is supposed to represent one of them here, um, and the walls between them disappears, then you get a larger one, okay? And uh, then uh, essentially this larger one um, has um, essentially a lower surface area uh, to volume ratio. And this is a problem because even though the airspace as such is larger, there is less a uh, wall around it with uh, blood vessels. And uh, therefore, the lungs are not able to absorb quite as much oxygen anymore. Now, this disease is also known as emphysema. And it's actually one of the most preventable respiratory illnesses that there is. So now let's uh, go back to the dissection of the pig's lung. Um, a bit uh, of a background story now. One of my students has a connection to a local butcher. And I asked if she could please order some lungs uh, for school. And what we got, however, were not only the lungs, but we also got the windpipe, the heart, the liver, and some other organs as well. The intestine, though, was missing. And I guess uh, that the butcher did not want to give it away because he needed it to make sausages. Now, um, here we we are dissecting the lungs by cutting um, along the bronchi. The bronchi are the air passages that carry the air to the alveoli. 
um, the heart uh, also was still present. Of course, we also dis dissected the heart and we were uh, able to see the four heart chambers, but that's of course a, a different story now. And then of course, uh, I wanted to do a small demonstration and I took a, a tube, a rubber hose, and I blew some air into the lungs of the pig. And of course, the lungs inflated. And this was a nice demonstration that the lungs contain those tiny little air spaces, even if they're too small uh, to be seen without a microscope. So yes, uh, please do write in the comments uh, below how you like this video. It's a little bit different than the others. And uh, if you want to see more of these type of videos, that's all folks. I hope that uh, the video was informative for you. Um, here's the next video for you to look at. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always. And of course, uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.